Hello and welcome to yet another problem on formulation of a linear problem. So first I'll flash the question over here. We'll read the question together and then we'll try to solve the problem. The question says a person wants to decide the constituents of a diet which will fulfill his daily requirements of proteins, fats and carbohydrates at minimum cost. Now if you are reading question very carefully the objective the target has already been given he has to fulfill his daily requirements of proteins fats and carbohydrates at minimum cost so minimum cost becomes my objective something that I am here to achieve then the choice is to be made from four different types of foods the yields per unit of these foods are given in table below. So here is your table. Now if you have a look at this table, we have four types of foods 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then protein, fats and carbohydrates in each of these foods are given. For example, if we take food 1, we have 3 units of protein, 2 units of fats and 6 units of carbohydrates. If we take food type 4 we get 6 units of proteins 5 units of fats and 4 units of carbohydrates costs of each of the foods are given in last column we can see 45 40 85 and 65 and then minimum requirements there are certain requirements of proteins fats carbohydrates those requirements are minimum 800 units of protein should be consumed, 200 units of fats and 700 units of carbohydrates should be consumed. Formulate linear programming model for the problem. So now that you have seen the problem, now the situation is that we have four foods, we have their prices, their costs and we need to consume certain amount of fats, proteins and carbohydrates. Now I should consume these quantities of fats, proteins and carbohydrates which are uh, proteins 800, fats 200 and carbohydrates 700 at minimum possible cost because this is what I need to consume for my health and I wish to achieve this at minimum cost. So we will get on with our task of formulation. Remember here are our steps once again, the five steps that we follow. Identify key variable, identify decision variables, list down your objective function, enumerate your constraints and finally list down the physical constraints. So these are the five steps that we will be following. Here is our problem. As always, we will try to kick start with our third step. What is that third step? This time round it is at minimum cost. So we will try to minimize the cost. If you have a look at the table, what will be the minimum cost if you consume let us say A units of 1, food type 1, B units of food type 2, C units of food type 3, D units of food type 4, then total cost would be 45A plus 40B plus 85 C plus 65 D 45 40 85 and 65 D this will be the total cost this will be the total cost and I want this cost to be minimum so I will put this subscript of min Z min I want to minimize my Z which is a composition of these four costs. Next, what is our next step? We will list down the constraints. Minimize Z subject to certain constraints. Subject to certain constraints. What are those constraints? You will be consuming proteins from food type 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now whatever amount of proteins you wish to consume, you may consume but they should be at least 800 units consumed. You cannot consume less than 800. 
So how many units will we be consuming? I am consuming food type 1, A units, food type 2, B units and so on. So total would be 3A plus 4B plus 8C plus 6D should be less than or equal to, sorry, this time we have to consume at least at least so this should be more than or equal to 800 units right then next constraint would be 2a plus 2b plus 7c plus 5d greater than or equal to 200 units of Fact. In all, they should be more than 200. And last one is 6a plus 4b plus 7c plus 4d should be more than or equal to 700. So, these are the constraints. Minimize this subject to these constraints. What is our fifth step? Fifth step is a physical constraints. A, B, C and D should be more than or equal to 0. What is our first step? Declaration of Z. What is Z? Z is total cost. Total cost of different foods. First type of food, second type of food, third type of food and fourth type of food. So, it is total cost. And then what are, what are A, B, C and D? Quantity of food type 1, quantity of food type 2, quantity of food type 3, quantity of food type 4. So here we have our declarations of variables key variable, decision variables, objective function, constraint and physical constraints. So these are our five steps and this is the formulation for given problem. Yet another very simple one, next time when we meet we will take a bit advanced problem but I believe that would be sufficient for majority of the universities. So we will meet next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.